Welcome to Red35 and today we are going to look at the world's most popular camera, the iPhone Extra Small Max. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's the 10s, 10, 10s Max? 10s Max. At least that's what Apple calls it. No doubt, you all know, it is the world's most popular camera and for great reason. Disclaimer, this is not a review for the iPhone and in fact there are zillion people out there talking about already and I don't care about the A12 Bionic chip, I don't care about the Face ID, I don't care about the storage, all I care about is this because I'm a photographer, I want to see how this thing performs. Well, everyone who have been saving up to get the world's most advanced iPhone 10, you can stop now because you can't get it anymore. Apple has stopped making them. But you can still save up to get the world's most expensive smartphone, the iPhone XS Max. You and me, hey, let's get together now, you'll see, hey, just how this life is supposed to be. So let's look at the camera. Uh, well, externally, it looks almost identical. In fact, it looks the same to me. I mean, I, I mean, I don't have a definitive measurement between you know the two, but apparently there are a little bit of differences according to some YouTubers. But for me, it looks exactly the same. And on paper, they also look very, very similar as well. You know, they have the same aperture size for both the the YN and the Tele N, and the focal length hasn't changed at all. Um, but According to Apple, you know, they now have a bigger sensor for the wide angle size So that means you should have better dynamic range and also better low light capability as well But I think that's um, I know it's important, but also what's important to me is also the front camera Because this is the first ever iPhone um, front uh, with a front camera that is capable of doing smart HDR Not only for stills, but for video, which is that that's what excites me Ever said that's so impossible? Well, that's not supposed to go there. Doesn't know me well. Smart HDR. There's one thing I actually want to talk about in detail. But before I start anything, let me say that you know, like in today's world, in 2018, I would say you know most of the high-end smartphones, whether it's Samsung, Google, or Huawei, you know they. They can all produce very, very decent photos you know, regardless and videos as well. Um, but the Smart HDR on the iPhone actually works really well. And compared to last year's iPhone 10, I actually think it's a big step forward. Um, you know, I, although I wasn't going to say about the A12 Bionic chip, you know, because I don't know anything about, you know, computer chips in general, um, but it works, you know, because they did talk about the, the new neural engine, which helps the HDR processing. Uh, I can easily say that it, it, you know it really 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 works for both stills and video the shadow area has been completely lifted and without too much noise and also uh, the smart dynamic range you know in video mode it absolutely blow me away especially the front camera i've been doing some of the vlogging as you can see from my last video um, that i was walking around in covent garden very high contrast very tricky lighting situation because i was in most of the time the light was behind my head and uh, and we could still every see everything you know which is brilliant and i had a, an additional lens on top of it as well and it still works fine this is what amazed me you know how well the new neural engine works with the hdr side of it um, so you know i think it's a worthwhile upgrade and um, which a lot of people may not actually take notice of but for me you know definitely something to shout about One of the most popular features in the iPhone 
Uh, it's a matter of fact, since the iPhone 7 was the portrait mode. And of course, you know, like a lot of the smartphone users in the past, they couldn't have the, uh, you know, shallow depth of field that you can only achieve with a bigger camera. Uh, so now they can get it in smartphone. But in the iPhone 7, it was a little bit fake and it wasn't quite reliable. Um, the edges looked just kind of mushy and things like that. So it gradually improved over time it's through the iPhone 8, iPhone 10, and of course, now, now the 10s and 10s Max generations. Uh, I can tell you that, you know, it's actually a lot better. Uh, you know, it's more reliable, both front and back camera. Uh, it, it works well, and I think it looks great as well. Um, but what's interesting as well, now you can control the depth of foot effect, uh, you know, I know Samsung had that you know, a couple of years ago, but this is different because it used the depth sensor to, to give you the gradual uh, defocused effect. So it, it looks definitely more natural in the eye. But what's better as well is now you can control the depth of field effect in post. Then you, know, you can actually take the shot like what I did just now, and then um, you can actually, uh, in, I mean, by default, it's set to 4.5 at the moment, which actually kind of doesn't look like an actual 4.5 in a real camera. It looks more like a F1 actually, um, but it, it, it looks kind of weird and fake at the same time <laughs> because uh, you know. Uh, but if you do ex experience that sort of thing, you can simply just tone down the depth of field. It will actually make it look a lot more natural, and I do mean it because it does look a lot better now. Uh, it, you can almost say that it looks like you're taking from a a, a bigger camera, uh, not a professional camera, but certainly a much better and bigger camera. Um, so that is very good and I know in the upcoming 12.1 iOS uh, you can actually change the effect or the depth of field uh, live when you're actually composing the shot which is brilliant so you don't have to do it in post uh, although you can still do it but then yeah you can definitely do it in live so you can actually see and preview everything before you actually take the shot. So here are my final thoughts on the latest iPhone XS and XS Max. I do think, you know, it's the best iPhone cameras yet. And uh, I'm not joking, I'm always quite impressed with the iPhone cameras. But in fact, you know, like I mentioned before, you can't get any poor pictures these days with all the high-end smartphones like the Huawei, Pixel 2, Samsung, you know, whatever you choose now. Uh, they're all great, you know, but I, I'm an Apple user, so I can only comment on the iPhone because that's what I've been using for the last 10 years. Um, but yes, it is the best iPhone cameras ever. Uh, I love the Smart HDR, like I mentioned, I rave about it, I would shout about it. There are limitations, however, uh, because the Smart HDR on, uh, in video especially only works with anything that's less than 30 frames per second, whether it's uh, for 4K videos or 1080. Um, the, the, also in the slow, super slow-mo side, you know, the 120 frame or 100, uh, 240 frames per second, um, I do actually notice a sharpness improvement because the previous generations, you find that once you use super slow-mo, even though you shoot at 1080, you find that the, the, um, the footage itself is a little bit soft, um, but this one looks a little bit more natural, so actually it's a good thing. Um, the newer engine works really well with the Smart, uh, the, the Smart HDL in the front camera especially, but like I mentioned again, you know, the front camera only ha have limited to 1080 mode as well. So you cannot shoot 4K. So maybe in the future, maybe in the next uh, iPhone uh, 10SS, 10, I, I don't know, XI, X11. I don't know what they're going to call it. Seriously, you know, it's, it's really getting my head in now. And, uh, so, you know, I know it, it will come one day. So hopefully the front camera will have 4K in the future. And that will be my vlogging cameras all day long. That will be it. Job done. enjoyed the video you just saw and remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and put on that bell button notification so you know when our new video is coming out so until next time see you i'm gonna enjoy shooting with this The iPhone Extra Small Max. No.
but let me tell you what you can now save to get saved ah save up ah anyone <laughs> um, ah, my tongue oh collector's item apple has this 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 discontinued it <laughs> and that really um that 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 okay i hope you enjoyed the video you just saw and remember to subscribe our channel if you have a okay